Welcome, Welcome viewers, viewers and friends, friends to this live stream, stream coming, coming to you from Highland Media channel, channel as well as, well as on, on live on, on Nagaland, Nagaland Cornerstone, Cornerstone TV. TV. Uh, this is live stream from Highland Media Studios in Kohima, Nagaland. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Wabang Moa. I'm the promoter and director of Highland Media, a media production house in Kohima. And today I will be guiding you to this live stream. Today we also want to touch upon the information superhighway, the internet and modern technology for business. Uh, here is my co-presenter. Hello, my name is Joel King, I'm 21 and I'm studying mass communication journalism in Pune. Uh, I'm also working as an intern here at HTM, Highland Down Media, and today I'll be your co-host. We are glad to have Joel here with us for the past uh, 25 days and uh, Interestingly, I also did my mass communication uh, media, media from, from Chennai in Chennai, and so uh, you can see that there is an obvious age difference, age gap between him and me. So I'm from what you call the Generation X, Gen X, and he's from what you call the Gen Z, Gen Z, Generation Z. So a lot of our viewers are young people like uh, Joel, as well as uh, from his age to my age and even beyond also. So we want to talk uh, dressing young men specifically also. And uh, since I'm from Gen X, we believe, I believe that we also have a unique perspective, a wider perspective about, uh, about the information superhighway internet and modern technology. In the 1990s, I also taught myself how to use computers a long time ago. So I almost became a nerd in the process, but I do have a passion and vision for media and how to use IT and information superhighway for my work. And I'm now I'm not much of a tech person, but uh, my knowledge skills also need to be update, updated frequently. And as we all know, information superhighway is already here and it has reached us in Northeast India rather late. However, can we use this, even though it's late, can we use this information superhighway and the new experience H to learn and to grow exponentially to apply it in our lives, in our studies, our career, our work, our businesses, etc. And uh, how we could capitalize on the changes and opportunities which are coming up, both technologically, business-wise, which are coming to our state, in our Northeast region, in our country. So we know we are in a, you know, a comparatively slow-moving world here in Northeast India, uh, with slow development and progress, even though fast information has arrived, and uh, fast development, I feel, will come in leaps and bounds. There is going to be fast development, pace of development. However, the ground reality in our area is that uh, there is still slow development and even close mindsets among many of our people, which we need to open our minds to understand what is coming, as well as to life itself. If we don't view life as an opportunity or in a wider way, then perhaps we are not able to open our mindset also. So a question here which I want to pose to myself as with to all who are listening is are we aware, are we prepared and ready for the new developments which are coming? We are slowly having a taste of the four-lane highway, the railway system which is coming from Dimapur to Kohima as well as uh, the international highway, information superhighway. So, so here new jobs, new businesses, more outside people will come in, new ways of doing work. So are we prepared for it? If not, others will take the chances, the opportunities, and we locals will be left behind if we are not opening our mindset, opening our eyes to the opportunities which are coming up. So please excuse me, but I digress a little bit from the topic of our discussion today. And so talking about our live stream today, over to Joel. So in this live stream, we want to share something interesting, some interesting programs which the HDM as a media house are coming up with which includes our channels as well as new venture, our newest venture uh, for our region, Northeast India. Over to you. So here today we'll be sharing about what's coming up on our media channels, uh, the content, the videos, our media production house, and our newest project for Northeast India. Firstly about Highland Down Media, HTM in short, which is our production house, which is a multimedia broadcast production house we have, a lot, we have had a lot of experience producing media over the years, producing TV programs for satellite channels, etc. So besides this producing of professional media with experience for many years, we also have services which include online video, live streaming, video marketing, broadcast media, and uh, television. We have our own audio and video recording studio where we are, whereby we are doing the recordings right here.
So along with our media services, we also have high quality HD LED screens for live events which are available for hire. We combine live projection to LED screens effectively and simultaneously with live video streaming. We call this the unique feature of using LED screens, LED screens and live streaming simultaneously as live 2000s and broadcast to 10,000s, which means whenever we broadcast project to LED screens, there are thousands of people watching it through LED screens. But when we broadcast or live stream it later to the internet, to our channels, then 10,000s of people already watch it or watch it after the event. So this is a unique thing which is known as live 2000s and broadcast to 10,000s. How can your office or church project your conference or live event to hundreds in the venue, dot and broadcast it simultaneously live to 10,000s? Does your office or church need to project PowerPoint, graphics and video clearly with rich colors even in bright daylight? Does your office or church need to address lack of awareness? We have been doing just that, with hundreds of live events and conferences, by using our live projection to high definition LED screens. Totally captivate and engage your audience to make your program memorable for them. Maximum clarity and maximum broadcast for our clients, by Highland Dawn Media Professionals. Full media package available, with HD video cameras, and online live streaming. Available in all LED sizes from small 8 by 4 feet to 20 by 10 feet, for both indoor and outdoors, clear in bright sunlight. Simultaneous live streaming of the same event to YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and any other website, Max Broadcast. Try us out. 25% limited discount available. WhatsApp us, email us Highland Dawn Media at yahoo.com. Uh, HDM has further digital coaching available online for online broadcast video skills you can register and avail this online course from the website given below uh, www.highlanddawnmedia.co there's also an https <laughs> column slash less before that <laughs> by the way and now coming back to our youtube highland Dawn presently has two youtube channels one is northeast cornerstone channel with uh, 1.3 lakh <coughs> or 131,000 k subscribers and the other channel is Highland Dawn Media, which is uh, 24,500 subscribers. So Highland Dawn Media YouTube is currently being revamped, rebranded, and uh, renamed as uh, North East India and Beyond. So this is what we also wanted to talk about today. Uh, here on this channel, we produce all our videos, special live events, do great music, talk shows, discussions, and programs on positive belief from Nagaland and the rest of Northeast India. So our tagline for Northeast Cornerstone channel, which we try to follow up and deliver to you, our viewers and our subscribers is special life events, positive edutainment and self-belief. So what is special life events? Meaning like life events, concerts, conferences, uh, World Music Day or whatever it is, which happens here in Kohima, in Nagaland, wherever it may be. So the special live events we bring to you live on LED screens as well as live through our channels, through our especially on Northeast Cornerstone channel. What does positive edutainment mean? Uh, edutainment is a combination of education and entertainment. So we focus on positive education plus positive entertainment. So that what we mean by edutainment. And belief. Lastly, belief meaning we have belief. You know. Firstly, we have belief in God, and then we have belief in ourselves, in our families, in our society, in our community. Even though things seem to be very negative, things seem to be uh, not developing, or things seem to be very slow moving, or whatever it is, we need to have belief, I believe. Believe in oneself, believe in God, and believe in our society even. So that the best can, the best is still yet to be, the best will come. And the, the best will be brought about through one's belief, through one's effort and consistent work. So that is the tech line once again, which is special live events, positive edutainment, and belief. Uh, okay, so th this streaming is going on live, and so viewers or subscribers, if you have any questions you would like to ask, any comments, any suggestions, please feel free. Please feel free to to comment below. Give your comments below. Valuable comments which we 
solicit, which we welcome for you guys. We would love to hear from you because we want to learn more what kind of things you would like to know more about, what kind of entertainment or education you would like to know more about, because we focus on positive edutainment. We also have, uh, by the way, we, we, we do something called video marketing, whereby you can uh, do video advertising, video marketing and advertisement of whatever it is, like uh, businesses, shops, government departments, churches, and even NGOs, to highlight your business, your ministry, and your achievements, perhaps, or whatever you would like to share with the public, we do video marketing, that is advertisements of these things. So it can be 30 seconds to uh, two minutes, three minutes, or it could be a, sh a short feature of five minutes, or it could be even a full length documentary of uh, 30 minutes. So by the way, all the videos on NEC uh, TV, YouTube, and online TV are always produced and uh, by our production house at Highland Dawn Media. Uh, and Northeast Cornerstone TV. So uh, if you have any questions, please uh, type them below in our chat. We welcome your comments. Uh, it's very useful for us. Now we want to go to a very new project which we are starting, which is, uh, firstly, I would like to ask those who are watching, are you an entrepreneur, even perhaps a government employee, a government servant, or a homemaker, a student, or even a politician? So well you are at the right win window at the moment i would like to invite you to to hear us out to stay and listen what we are sharing today about a new vision and venture we are doing for northeast india which will impact our daily lives and our society you see our local economy concerns our daily lives and so our economy is revolving around you and the market on which you are buying your things daily essentials <coughs> A well-known business person from Northeast India, he is the CEO of Entrepreneurs Associates, Mr. Nitsete Dulo. When speaking to us recently, he shared that uh, don't es expect the economy to come from the government. The government will not give that to you, but the economy will come from the market around us, the local market, the businesses around us. So uh, our local economy, our business is of extreme importance for our daily lives to prosper, to, to develop further in the near future. So Northeast India and beyond, this is NEIB, is all about discussing the various topics with ground reality, with vision and expectations to give solutions and by experts, as well as to, to discuss together in an online forum. So Northeast India and beyond is being registered uh, as we speak as a trust this will be a platform where enthusiastic uh, entrepreneurs, both young and old, they can come together to discuss business, economy, and entrepreneurship. Our mission and vision emphasizes on bringing about viable positive changes, which will be promoting local businesses, entrepreneurs, and bringing socio-economic awareness for our region and beyond. Coming back to NEIB again, NEIB is an online uh, economic forum or economic trust which is produced and has been initiated by Highland Dawn Media with like-minded persons from the outside of our region. Over to you. Mm -hmm. A little bit about our Nagan um, entrepreneurships and uh, businesses here locally. If only we in Nagaland can open our minds beyond our small world, you know, many of us Right now we are at the start when new opportunities and new ways of working, networking, new contexts will start to come in. Let us not be unprepared but and made irrelevant perhaps, or made redundant, but let us be prepared. Let us be able to do anything people beyond in India or other countries are doing. We can start, I mean, entrepreneurs, businesses, educational institutions need to set up websites, channels, online businesses, even artists and musicians need to do that. Our, even our educational system will be changing, you know. Very soon we are adopting the new education policy 2020 and changes are coming. The older educational systems are changing and, it's, and perhaps in the near future instead of even degrees and uh, masters and doctorates, we would have new things coming up. Uh, you know, like uh, we hear about credits being given by courses conducted on YouTube or other media. And uh, we even have a university online, many online universities with uh, famous people like Jordan Peterson, where you can really study in depth about whatever it is you would like to know. Because actually the world is at our fingertips, you know. 
whatever you would like to learn to get to know is in your fingertips, in your phones, in your computers, in your laptops, in your, in your devices. Over the past few years, many, many more businesses are also realizing that if you are not online, it's only a matter of time before you say bye-bye. So we need to be online, that's what they say, but still then, again, in one way, it's a balance. If you are continuously online, if you are continuously in a virtual world, then you lose out perhaps in the real world. But I would like to know a little bit about this, you know, like uh, people your age, you're in your yes. early 20s, what, yes. what, what is your observation, you know, are they mostly online virtual world or? That is very true. Uh, most of most of the people around our age are uh, have made up this like uh, digital persona where we like represent we have this like uh, our digital pers personification or digital representation of our like or what we uh, want others the way we want others to perceive us as uh, which may or may not uh, be true completely so in a sense in that aspect maybe it may not be the healthiest um, you know practice but um, on the other hand uh, it has also uh, opened so many gateways and channels for us to avail um, so many opportunities to uh, learn to teach to explore to even earn money to like so there are pros and cons in it so it, that is something from my perspective my opinion over to you that's true uh, that's true Hopefully, uh, our young people, including, I mean, many of your age people, they'll not lose sight of their real identity, mm -hmm. mixing up with a virtual identity, or they may depend a lot on their virtual identity and become lost. So there's a fine gap, perhaps, and balance, mm -hmm. which uh, we all need to have. And uh, I think back to you over here. Yeah, so today, the citizens in Nagaland and around Northeast India need to be aware of and participate in our local national economy. However, the bulk of today's uh, youth are wandering and are immersed in the virtual world. Uh, here we hope in any IB that we will leave a mark, a dent in the world for the region and for the state to prosper. Very true. Uh, any of IB meaning Northeast India and beyond, the new venture which Highland Dawn Media is starting with like-minded people from outside the region. And so right now we would like to showcase our team also. You know, we have uh, actually Highland Down Media has a big team in the sense we have uh, full-time workers and we have part-time workers. So we, when we have a big events, live media events, <coughs> we call many of our team, which is uh, consisted of nearly 15 people. And so as you can see on the screen, and they also join us when we have celebrations, like we celebrated 100K subscribers, as well as uh, you'll see more of our media team people. And uh, one thing interestingly is that again, in Nagaland, consisting of so many tribes, 16, uh, whatever number it is, 14, 15, 16. So many of us are from different uh, communities, uh, say like six, seven other communities combined together. And this makes it quite interesting to work together. We would also like to show what is happening behind the scene. So I would request our cameraman to zoom out and then to tilt towards this guy, uh, Abang, who is recording live for Instagram. This is a surprise thing. Just sit where you are. So that is uh, right. He's doing the recording to Instagram. And again, there are more people. You are chatting to them perhaps live. Uh, so the brightness is low, but you can increase it. And so that is, uh, there are two of them there, Asant and Namang <laughs> behind the scenes. And then back to over there, yeah, you can see the director, Ritomo, <laughs> as well as a lady who is uh, helping, assisting him. And so behind the scenes is very important. People, <laughs> they are the support for us to go live, as well as in many events, they are there for us and for you to see our programs that is, uh, as it happens. We are slowly coming to the end of our live stream and thank you all for being with us but we still have something else to say and uh, any other pictures? <laughs> oh yes, 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 that's right, that's right. So, uh, yeah, for Instagram people, sorry you can't see those pictures. We'll but, put uh, them up on the stories. That's right, we'll put them on the stories. But thank you for watching on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook.
thank you so much for joining us today and uh, over to you Joel. Thank you for joining us and we will see you again tomorrow, maybe day after. Bye bye. <laughs> thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.